swimmer my whole life. Started swimming when I was three, uh, and eventually swam competitively in, in college, and then later uh, professionally in Brazil. I was in the Brazilian national team for a pretty long time, so I was always interested in uh, not just swimming but exercise. And uh, I've done some altitude training myself throughout the years. And uh, so when I came to Rice and I was presented with this project of studying um, adaptation to low oxygen conditions, especially under exercise, I was very interested in doing that. So right now we're breathing in 21% oxygen and we take that for granted. Our bodies act like well-oiled machines. When you're training in high altitude, like Andre did, or you're scuba diving, like I've attempted to do, you start to realize that our bodies are very sensitive to oxygen and life depends on it. So Andre's project is trying to understand how oxygen changes throughout the body and how our metabolism adapts to that for applications to understanding different diseases like cancer or cardiovascular disease and also how we respond to exercise. The way we do is we use uh, genome-wide metabolic reconstructions which are reconstructions on the metabolism that are done based on the entire genome of a particular organism, and we try to predict fluxes and try to predict computational how those pathways, how those metabolic reactions can be used. How come you adapt when you're training in high altitude? Or how come you're able to actually uh, go to low altitude and also survive there? Our bodies are very sensitive to oxygen, and Andre's project is trying to understand why and how over many, many evolutionary time, in the evolutionary time frame, how the human body and the mammals in general adapted. So applications to that are broad. Okay? Things like understanding how cancer responds to oxygen, how cardiovascular diseases could, might be treated through hypoxic response pathways. Uh, so there's many applications. One of the fundamental things is really understanding over evolutionary time how did bodies adapt to high and low altitude?